Researchers here at the Salk Institute have found a cure to what was once thought to be incurable. We're talking about Alzheimer's. We'll give you the exciting new details coming up. Alzheimer's is one of the most destructive and sad diseases, and still there is no real way to stop it. But researchers at a local college say they might have found a cure. Fox 5's James Coe is in the studio tonight to explain it. James, this sounds pretty encouraging. Yeah, encouraging is one word. I would say simply incredible. Incredible news out of La Jolla tonight. Researchers from the Salk Institute believe they may have found a cure for Alzheimer's using a drug they, uh, they created called J147. Severe memory loss. Dementia. For more than 5 million Americans, Alzheimer's is a disease that currently has no cure. There's absolutely nothing out there that's uh, able to stop the progression of the disease. No cure. At least that was the case. Ten years of research culminated into a major announcement Wednesday regarding a compound called J147. And when you feed J147 to the mice at that late stage, it's able to reverse the memory and the pathology associated with Alzheimer's. Now think about that statement. A research team from the Salk Institute says they have found a potential cure to Alzheimer's. Not a treatment for symptoms, but an actual cure. There's no other drug out there that can do all of the things that J147 can do. Researchers say the drug J147 actually protects brain neurons and improves memory. They believe this compound will actually stop Alzheimer's. And so far, they found that J147 has no negative side effects. The fact that it's safe in the mice, we believe it will also be safe for human use. And to date, nothing looks like it's uh, going to cause a problem. The only problem, time. The drug won't be available for years, and that's assuming the drug even passes clinical trials. Clinical trials do take a long time. It could be, it could be eight to ten years before it's a prescribed drug. But the news Wednesday provides something that all good medicine is supposed to give, hope. But it should give people hope that, you know, we are doing research, we are looking for for new drugs, for new approaches, and, and this is this is really exciting. Really, really exciting stuff. And in speaking with the researchers today, they tell me the drug could eventually be used for other neurological diseases as well. They say J147 could lead through uh, could lead to rather breakthroughs in Parkinson's and Lou Gehrig's disease. Jen. Wow, James, pretty incredible. It sort of even gave me goosebumps. That'd be so great to see some positive movement there. James, thanks.